People look at Klaus Schwab and wonder, does he have a little bit of reptile DNA in him? Well, probably, and it's clearly not enough. Our chairman of the board is mostly reptile because these humans can't get the human enslavement that's necessary to fight the climate crisis done fast enough. In fact, let's hear a quick message from our beloved chairman, Professor Nikstrom Baxter Androgynous III. Greetings. It's time we put an end to the Great Reset so that we might have a fantastic reset. It's the only way to stop the rapidly changing climate and flourishing of humanity. I look forward to collaborating with you as we implement our universal initiatives. All hail Reptilian Lord Bebarp! All hail Lord Reptilian Lord Bebarp is what you soon will be saying and you will be happy and hey, at least they're honest about it. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Lukanowski here of WeAreChange.org. And holy freaking cow, are we living on a strange plane of existence that is definitely worth decoding, breaking down, and exposing the true reality of which we're going to be striving to do on this broadcast. This as the White House is again patting themselves on the back on the pure destruction that they're causing the Earth and the average American family. They're labeling it progress but in reality it is the increasing of tremendous amount of human suffering that is surely about to get a lot worse for everyone involved here we're going to be breaking that down if we have time there's some crazy situations unfolding right now in ukraine that could potentially get a lot worse that plus a lot more we're going to be talking about on this independent media broadcast. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing right now, you can get it on the bestpoliticalshirts.com. And the small clip that we played in the beginning of this video is from a bigger video from Awaken with JP that truly did an incredible job in his latest video that is titled, quote, putting the World Economic Forum out of business. A tremendous work of satire that is definitely worth talking about, sharing, and watching. Watching the link to the full video will be down in the description below. He truly does amazing work and deserves all the subscribers he has. He deserves a lot more. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. And his work truly is a testament to the absurdity of our modern day society that of course the majority of people see is going in the wrong direction. There's mainline corporate media polls out there from NBC News that talk about how nearly 75% of Americans think that the United States is heading in the wrong direction, and it is, as of course almost every data set of life quality is dramatically going down in the United States. Why is this happening? Why is there so much degradation of our life? Well, I think that's because we have more government in our life than ever that's intervening and creating the havoc that we're dealing with. Before getting into that specific element, the havoc is getting severe and getting more in your face as the Dow fell more than 500 points on worse than expected inflation numbers. These as the official numbers show an 8.3% increase in inflation just in the month of August. This as the quasi-private US Federal Reserve that works with all the big banksters is considering more rate hikes, more interest rates, and we have to understand that these are the official reported numbers when in all actuality, those numbers in real life that hit everyday Americans is probably a lot higher. And again, the stock market is not a true reflection of our economy, as of course, a lot of the stock market is artificially propped up by the US Federal Reserve that literally prints money out of thin air and subsidizes the losses of all their friends in the multinational corporate billionaire secret alliance that they have. And even with all the fake artificial propping up of Wall Street, for them still to be hit is something worth noting, is something worth talking about, as even individuals like Cardi B, who came out as a big supporter of Joe Biden, who campaigned for him, who interviewed him, who promoted him to her fans and audience members, came out recently and is, quote, outraged by the inflation, housing costs, even asking the question publicly, quote, no, seriously, I want to know how people are surviving. I've been helping so many people for so many years. I never have helped out so many people for the past seven, eight months. And I remember something, right? Let me tell you something. A couple of months ago, I was helping um, a cousin get an apartment, right? And now I'm helping somebody else get an apartment. Bro, I was looking at some areas, the way that the prices soar up, 
the way the way definitely not the best uh, economic analysis but but i i think we, we we absolutely get her point but don't worry guys everything's fine we just passed the record spending inflation reduction act which should help us right it should it, it it's called it, it's it's what yeah, you're screwed. The White House right now is now toting the Inflation Reduction Act and not reducing inflation, but, quote, giving you better battery storage. Wait, hold up. People are struggling to pay rent. People are struggling to live. People are struggling to pay for groceries. People are struggling in every aspect when it comes to the economy, and you're patting yourself on the back because people could now have batteries? Yeah, uh, going on a spending spree is not helping anyone. It's actually causing the pain and suffering that is creating inflation because you're printing money out of thin air and spending it on batteries when people need to eat. Holy frickin' cow, if there wasn't more of an out of touch bureaucratic state, I don't know where it would be, but people don't need batteries now. We, we, we need food. They need jobs, they need rent, and, 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 and again, as we've called it out, as soon as the Inflation Reduction Act was introduced, we told you it's not going to reduce inflation. Just like the Patriot Act wasn't patriotic, all these bills, they literally do the opposite of what they promised to do, and of course, inflation is expected to grow under the Inflation Reduction Act, as of course, we're prophesizing and pushing for government dream projects that spend more money waste more money and absolutely do not help the american people now the batteries that the white house is patting themselves on the back with how are they sourced how are they made oh oh the videos that you're watching right now that's exactly how they're made usually predominantly with child slave labor in the democratic republic of congo and this this is the footage from sky news showing you exactly how those batteries that are now going to be introduced into the privileged western world are going to be of course made and sourced predominantly there are some efforts to, to try to of course stop a lot of this child slave labor a lot of this exploitation a lot of these horrible policies but when you look at this this push for electric vehicles when you look at the, the, the planned obsolescence when it comes to a lot of our products, especially cell phones that are almost replaced every single year. This is the consequence of it that a lot of people don't want to talk about, but this is the reality. This is the suffering. This is the pain that people feel in the third world. And of course, you will be feeling as well very soon as of course, the White House is, is literally touting the latest inflation numbers as quote, progress. Yes, the insanity couldn't be any more deranged as, as literally, the people stabbing you are bragging about them stabbing you a little less this month, according to the official numbers, which they fudge as they're still stabbing you in the back. That's essentially what, what's happening here. And the American people are dealing with a lot of stab wounds, a lot of blood loss as we're dealing with 40 year high price hikes, record high grocery prices. And with the cost of living going up, with poverty going up, of course, crime goes up as well. This as in places like Memphis, People are literally jogging with groups of police escorts because it's too dangerous for them to jog by themselves. As this administration has turned an eye along with other woke district attorneys along the same party lines against crime, which they have been essentially aiding and abetting in this country with, of course, its fostering and growth. Another policy that deserves to be talked about when it comes to the economic havoc that is being raged on the American working class is, of course, the increase of illegal immigrants coming across the border, which the Biden administration has been welcoming and spurring on, which, of course, as according to even Bernie Sanders, Sanders a few years ago creates an increase of the workforce, which of course makes wages go down, creates an increase in the demand of housing, which makes housing more expensive. And now with the Biden administration essentially calling and spurring on more illegal immigrants to come into the United States, the costs will be passed on to the American working class, making it even more expensive for them to live. This is the true reality of what Bernie Sanders called a billionaire Koch's brother plan that he of course is now silent about. But this is an important policy that deserves to be talked about especially when it comes to understanding the suffering that people are going through this as this administration that is becoming more soft on crime spurs on more illegal immigration creates more government dream projects that waste more money create more inflation 
only have one thing on their mind and are only campaigning on one thing, and that is the former president of the United States that somehow is still relevant to them, as of course, they have now set the fangs of the U.S. national security state on the former president of the United States as the DOJ issued 40 subpoenas of people close to the former president of the United States. Tucker Carlson has called this a, quote, full-blown political purge, and I don't think he's wrong. I'm definitely not a Trump supporter, never was, called them out always from day one, but these secretive executive orders that the DOJ is hiding, these secretive actions, uh, these deep state intelligentsia, egregious, aggressive actions deserve to be called out. And I have a lot more to say about this that I would be saying specifically on LukeUncensored.com, our own platform where we get to say and do whatever we want. Yes, this is a, a way to fund this independent media operation, but also give you a video almost every single day about topics that we cannot discuss here on this particular platform. This family-friendly videos, we don't go into controversial topics, we don't go down the rabbit hole, we don't try to explain the bigger truths here. We do that on LukeUncensored.com, where of course you also get access to three master classes, a forum, exclusive merchandise, and upcoming tickets and exclusive access to meetups and events that will be only available for members of LukeUncensored.com. The longer the member, the better access you will have to future events that most likely we're going to be doing here at the Beanie Compound. Lots of crazy things happening. I'm detailing all of that, plus a lot more on LukeUncensored.com. See you there right after this broadcast for the second video available for you right now on LukeUncensored.com. Click the link down in the description below right now now if you remember a couple months ago and even in yesterday's video we brought up how tumultuous the conflict is in ukraine and how essentially dangerous it is not just for the people living there but for the continent of europe but more the global stability of the world and there has been some major military gains by the ukrainian military which we warned will be responded to by of course the russian military that of course still has a lot of munitions a lot of weaponry as we even highlighted the possibility of the use of a tactical quote limited nuclear war that even not surprisingly chief u.s neoconservative war hawk john bolton is warning that the assessment that we've been talking about has been right and that quote russia is quote a lot closer to using nukes as of course the situation there becomes desperate for a lot of the soldiers involved there as the ukrainians have made vast territorial gains in the kharkiv region going all the way up to the russian border in their latest counter offensive this is something that i think is definitely worth noting this i think this this is a situation definitely worth watching this is an escalation and in my opinion there should be definitely a lot more eyes on this situation but but it's not really galvanizing a, a lot of uh, media reports and and understanding foreign policy this is this is important as of course the corporate media has been following closely a lot of u.s foreign policy decisions promoting them which essentially escalate to this situation while of course not prioritizing the calls for de-escalation or the possibility of peace talks or negotiations which i think the ukrainians are in a very better position in to do so as of right now but those are of course calls and conversations that I think are rational that sadly aren't being discussed. This, as of course, Germany is still permitting Russian uranium shipments to France, which of course will be destined for their nuclear power plants, which the French government has actually turned on as the German government has actually turned them off, creating the possibility of a very dark winter in Europe, which of course is going to be affecting everyone in very negative ways. Here in Europe, uh, Make sure you have a wooden stove. I told my family this months ago. I told members of LukeUncensored.com to do this months ago, especially if they're in Europe. I hope some of you guys listened. I had other advice a couple days ago for people in Europe. But again, I'm going to save this topic and, and larger conversations that I think are more important on LukeUncensored.com. Hope to see you there right after this video. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys watching these videos, sharing these videos, and it truly means the world to me but we're able to have a relationship where, you, where you're able to call me out on my bull crap you're able to comment and let me know exactly what i got wrong what you think i should understand what do you think i should study what you think i should research more and i'm able to of course dedicate my time towards you do that study particular things and then regurgitate everything in my kermit the frog voice yelling at you and the general public about the most important stuff that we need to understand when it comes to the worldview that is being denied to you by the central controllers that are afraid of you knowing too much.
That's what I believe in. You agree with it? Share this video with your friends and family members. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.